the top intelligence official in the country and the director of the NSA are testifying on Capitol Hill as we speak. And when pressed about reports that the NSA has been tapping the phones of foreign leaders, even allies, Director of National Intelligence James Clapper said, that's long been par for the course. Plans and intentions of foreign leaders would be important for the United States to know. That's a hearty perennial. Uh, as long as I've been in the, in the intelligence business, um, 50 years, uh, leadership intentions, in whatever form that's expressed, is kind of a, a basic tenet of what uh, we are to collect and analyze. Now, the White House has long denied German media reports that President Obama was told in 2010 that the NSA was spying, tapping the phone of German Chancellor Angela Merkel and let it going on. The Intelligence Committee Chairman press clapper about whether the White House would have been told that foreign leaders were being tapped. Would it, in fact, uh, any value of that information find its way to uh, at least the National Security Council in the White House? Uh, well, it certainly could. They may not have uh, information specifically related to uh, a specific selector or any specific collection target. What they would see, though, would be the output of this uh, in, in its, in its total, uh, total dimension. I want to bring in Chief National Security Correspondent uh, Jim Schutto. Jim, we just heard James Clapper kind of explain this discrepancy, or at least attempt to explain the discrepancy between uh, intelligence officials saying that the White House and the National Security Council had been briefed on this program, and the White House saying that President Obama certainly did not know that Merkel's phone had been tapped. Uh, translate that for us. Well, I think that whether he intended to or not, Clapper actually gave President Obama some cover there because, as he said, Presidents read this kind of intelligence all the time. They're looking at the output. They might not necessarily know what the source uh, of that output is. So it's plausible that the president might have read something that resulted from the content, contents of, say, Merkel's conversations without know that, knowing that it came from listening in on one of her phone calls. And that's actually something that the administration had been telling us the last couple of days. So Clapper, to some extent, backing that up. 